Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. And that was my commencement speech. Yeah, you heard that right. Now let me explain to you how I became the youngest commencement speaker in history. My brother's girlfriend's sister is a senior in college. After 16 whole years of school, she finally gets her moment to walk on the stage and get her diploma. That was until a major pandemic stopped the world and locked us inside our houses. She got an email saying her graduation was canceled. All those years and all that hard work, all she gets is a PDF of her diploma. It was not fair. But that, ladies and gentlemen, that was where it struck us. We were going to throw her uh, her own graduation ceremony, cap and gown, a real diploma, and a somewhat real stage. Her whole family cheering her on in the audience. Everything you could imagine, we would have. But with her family preoccupied, taking pictures and crying tears of joy, they needed a commencement speaker. Someone to inspire the graduate and hand her her diploma for the iconic moment. And who better than an 11 year old boy? So that's exactly what I did. Proudly with a cardboard podium, I stood there and I gave her the commencement ceremony she deserved. Parents, students, and all those who could come out here and support these graduates in reaching a new benchmark in their academic careers. That was my opening statement. But let's make something clear. I killed that speech. Oprah Winfrey, Bill Nye the science guy? <laughs> They got nothing on me. But the moral of the story is that you don't need a professional commencement speaker. We made it just as memorable as it would have been on a real stage, if not even more.